Hi everyone, there's an easy way to count out the hand of bridge or remember the cards played and there's a hard way. So I'm going to show you what I think is the hard way first. Right, here's a hand. I'm, in, uh, I'm just going to open this one no trump. I'm playing alcohol 12 to 14. If you're playing a different system, it doesn't matter. Um, we're, ju we're just going to bid this and get to some contract. I know Trump, North bids two clubs, staying in. I bid two spades, showing a four card spade suit. And North bids seven spades. Okay, that's cool. Again, don't worry too much about the bidding. And North leads the Queen of Diamonds. Now take a moment to take that hand in. Um, once you've taken a moment, we've got to draw trumps. So let's look at the way most people try to remember the cards and count the cards. It's going to go something like this. Um, all right, so that's four diamonds gone. One, two, three, four diamonds. Now let's count the spades. So let's see. So that's one, two, three, four spades gone. Uh, five, six, seven, eight spades gone. So that's eight. Uh, I've got four left, so that's 12. It's one more. So there's one more spade left. So let's get rid of that spade. And so that's eight, 19, 11, 12, 13. Okay, all this, we've drawn trumps. So that's okay. You can count that way, but you'll probably find it works all right in one suit. But as soon as you try two suits or three suits, it all just turns to custard and your head explodes. I'd like to show you an easier way to count. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but we'll take it slowly and do it step by step and you'll get there. Uh, and in this video, we'll take our first step. Here's a hand of bridge and we're looking at all four hands this time. Uh, I don't want you to think about the bidding or what the contract is or um, don't look too closely at it. Just focus for a second on the spade suit. Notice that there's four spades in the south hand, there's four spades in the north hand, three in the west hand and two in the east hand. Four spades in the south, four north, three and two. Four, four, three, two. And of course, 4432 adds up to 13. Here's another hand. Again, look at the spade suit. This time, west has got four, south has got four, east has got three, and north has got two. So the spade suit's moved around a little bit, but we've still got four in the west, four in the south, three in the east, and two in the north. Four four, three, two, which still adds up to 13 because four, four, three, two always adds up to 13, no matter how you distribute the cards. Now, suppose I give you a hand shape, but I don't show you the cards. So we're just looking at the hand shape. And let's say I give you four, four, three. What's that last number? You could add it up. You could go 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11, and there's 13 cards in the pack, so 13 minus 11 is 2. But there's a much easier way, and that's simply to recognize that handshake, 4432. So if we know 4432 already, we know that that last number is a 2. What about this one? Four, two, three. Again, we could add them up. Four and two, six and nine is blah, 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 blah. But we don't want to do that. We just want to quickly recognize ah, four, two, three, four. And that becomes a four. No addition, no counting. We just quickly recognize the handshake in the same the way that you might recognize a word by using letters. One more, and I'll change the order of it this time. So let's go 
three something or other, four, two. What's the missing number? Well, you might have it by now. It's a four. Three, four, four, two. Four, four, three, two. Two, three, four, four. Always those same numbers. And you will start to recognize that uh, shape pretty quickly. And once you start recognizing those shapes, you just don't need to count. Let's try that hand again. So I'm going to bid exactly the same. Once again, don't worry about the bidding. I just want to get to some contract so we can practice our counting or not counting. One, they trump two clubs. So again, I'll bid two spades. North bid seven spades. That's the end. It's the same hand. We're going to draw trumps, but look at that spade suit. Four, four. So without counting, I can just check to see what that pattern is. So here we go. I'm going to play the King of Diamonds as before. And I'm going to play Ace. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to play Eight. I'm not counting. I'm just checking to see whether how that spade suit is distributed. No counting. Everybody's just following suit at the moment, so there's nothing for me to do. Aha! Now we come to the key point. West has thrown away a diamond, so how many spades did West start with? If you're not sure, you can just rewind a little bit and have another go. But uh, you'll uh, realize on the end that West started with two spades. And South started with four, North started with four, West started with two. So we're thinking four, four, two in the West hand. And so East started with three. And that's the spade suit gone. Okay, I'm going to finish the hand off. And at some point, I've got to play the club suit. So we've got ace, king, we're just missing the queen. And I don't know, it's a bit of a guess. We could hope that west has got the queen or we could hope that east has got the queen. I think because east has got three spades and west only started with two spades, I think west is more likely to be the one with the clubs. So I'm going to finesse west for the queen of clubs. Fingers crossed. And that worked. All right, so the rest of the hand is pretty straightforward. I've got all the rest of the tricks. I'll finish it off just for fun. And that's 13 tricks, very nice score. And look at that spade suit. Four in the south hand, four in the north hand, two in the west hand, three in the east hand. The old 4432 shape. Now 4432 is a very common shape. In fact, it's the most common shape in bridge. So it's a good one to learn first. And when you absolutely, completely know that 4432 shape and all its different forms, 4432, 2344, 4324, when you absolutely completely know that one, then we can add another hand shape. And every time you learn a new hand shape, you're just one step closer to being able to count out a full hand. How to practice and recognize those hand shapes, let me introduce to you the shape machine. So what we're going to see here is I'm going to going to click the start button and we're going to see three numbers coming up come up and we've got to quickly get the fourth number no counting we've just got to recognize it so i'm just going slow here got to learn this one so here we go i'm going to click start three something two four so that's a four. Ooh, i only just got it in time let's try another one a little bit see if i can get it a bit quicker so that's uh, four, four, two, three. Four, four, three, two. 
Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, let me speed that up a bit because we've got to get this so quick that we don't even have to think about it. And that way when you're playing bridge, you don't have to think about counting. You just quickly bam, bam, bam. Yep, I got that one. So let's go a little faster. And here we go again. Two, three, four, four. Four, two, four, three. Okay, I think I got it. I'm going to go fast. Four, two, four, three. Ooh, that's fast. Four, two, four. Okay, so the shape machine is going to get you thinking fast or not thinking fast. You'll just quickly recognize that shape and this will help. It will help, I promise. It means there's just more brain power to think of other things and less brain power required to, to um, think of this counting stuff. Now you'll see the shape machine underneath this video and you can use it for practicing your shape counting. Practice until you can do it fast. Look out for those 4432 shapes while you're playing. And then in the next video, we will add another handshake. Good luck. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.